Hey guys, this is Poet Spice and I am here to do a little bit of a coloring supply and coloring book haul. I got these over the last few weeks and so I just decided to put them all in one video. <laughs> Yay! So let's get started. I'm going to do supplies first and then we'll do the coloring books and so forth. So I got a 200 slot pencil case. And so this is cool. This is the first one I've had that has this little button detail, like when you pull the, the thing. And I do not like, like the 300 ones because they do not have individual pieces. They've got that big band. So even though I could probably use a 300 slot, I just went ahead and got this 200 one. And I got it on Amazon. And then it has this little pocket in the back, which is cool because you can put something in there. Not. All right, so I got that one. Then, look, I have no room for anything, but yeah, I bought more stuff. Okay, then I bought this one, which is a 250 slot. It's got that same little detail with the button, so that's pretty cool. And then it is this brand. And I got this one. I do love the colors and it is the single ones as well. So I got that one and this one is 250. So I was, I was like, okay, I can deal with 250. 250 should work. Well, that should work. Okay, so then I went a little color pencil crazy um, because they had gone back down in price and I was like, I'm trying not, which is funny. I'm trying not to buy too much stuff, um, like pencils and things like that. So I wanted to go ahead and get the stuff that I wanted while it was a decent price. And then that would deal with that. So I got the Prisma Color of Vera Thins. And I have been working away with them. Working away. So that's this little thing here. And so you can see they are sharpened. Some have been sharpened like multiple times. And they're nubs. <laughs> well, not nubs, but you know, you can see that they're being used. So I've been using these a lot. And I like them. I especially like them in like the Eerie book that I was using and so forth like that. I don't know what it is about that Korean paper or Japanese paper. It does seem to, you know, go with a lot of different color pencils and stuff. So I like that. I also went ahead and bought these Derwent Graffy Tints, the 24 pack. And like I said, they were, you know, less expensive. I love a sale. I love how fat their pencils are. Um, there's that. And I was not going to buy these. This was because of Jojo Zahana. Yeah, Jojo. Jojo, Jojo. Jojo, Jojo. So I bought these because she said you should buy, you should get these, you should play with them. But I had already had Spectrum Noir. Um, they're similar. I forget what they call them, but they're similar to the graphy tint thing. It's tinted graphite. So I was like, nah, I don't think I'm going to buy it. But these were on sale. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's just go ahead and get them off the wish list. So I did get those. I did not swatch these yet, though. So next, my Derwent Chroma Flows. So I was very happy because before Christmas... And so I did swatch these. So before Christmas, I bought the 24 set, I think it was. That was on sale. It was like $17. And then this set was, it had been down to $70 and yada, yada, yada. And I was trying to be good and not buy them. And then when I decided to buy them, they went back up to $95, $96, $98. And I was like, heck no. Not when two weeks ago they were $70. So I happened to catch them last week or the week before, within the last two and a half weeks, back down to $7 or $70. So I went ahead and purchased them because I'm like, okay, let me get them before they go back up. So I got my 70 set. And I did my little swatch in. 
and I just leave it in there with the set. Um, so what I want to do is put most of my Derwent's in one case. So I'm hoping that they'll fit in that 250. Okay, next, I got these two things. I love my other Color pencils. And so I got this color, this 50 set um, of metallics. Now, I don't know how metallic is gonna show up with, you know, on other things. And it's got a hinged tin. <sighs> And I love that Calor comes with their little swatch chart. So I went ahead and swatched it on here. And you can see the little metallic nature of the colors. It has the colors on the top of the tin. And they have names and numbers. And so they're pretty much, I don't know, they're in a good enough color order for me. Some people might change it, but they're in a good enough order. And I love, once again, I love how they feel. They're like, ooh. And they were smooth going down, which I was surprised because I have other metallic pens and they get scratchy. Now, there are some colors that are a little scratchier than others, but they all kind of had this like creamy kind of lay down. So I was like, oh, okay, go on color 50 metallic. So I got that. I don't know. I like this 10. So I'm going to try to figure out what I can do with it. But I don't like having my pencil stuck in there because then it's a pain in the butt to get them out. Okay, then they had these Color Soft Pastel Color Pencils. Now, I do have, what did I get? Carbothellos. And, I mean, they're chalk pastels, so they're going to be scratchier than regular ones. But these, a lot of these seem to be really scratchy. So, I don't know if it was just because it's on this paper, or that's just how they are, or... Now I didn't I I don't sharpen all my pencils before I um swatch them so maybe that's an issue but you can see all the chalkiness the chalkiness of them I thought they had pretty colors once again it's a what you call it tin hinged tin they've got the colors at the top and then they've got these and I like how they feel too. They're not as like slippery, silky smooth as the other ones, but I like, I do like the feel of these. There you go. And then, so you can hear that, right? So I did get those. So I got all the color pencils that, well, I should say that I wanted and was going to pay for. So now I don't think I need to buy any more forever in a day. Yeah. So there are those. Now you see why I had to get some more. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get on to the books. Now, I do have one book that's not with me. It is at work, and I've been coloring it there. It is The 50 Romantic Miniatures by uh, Camelia Anjakova. So I got that one. And I started two pictures in there. Then I got these two books. I love Shel Silverstein. And I had these books once upon a time. And um, I don't know what I did with them. I guess I just got rid of them when I was moving a while ago. Like, you know, decades ago. And I was like, oh, these are so cute. They were on sale. I got them um, used. So they were very cheap. They were like maybe $5. Okay. So I purchased them one because I loved Shel Silverstein poems. They're so fun. I wish I could be as popular as he is or was because I think he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's dead now. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. And they have these little pictures. And I this is not my idea. I saw it on somebody's channel. And it's the same thing with like the ink house. I cannot remember whose channel it was. At first, I thought it was T's World. But I'm not sure because I saw it a long time ago. Like sometime last year. So I'm not sure whose idea it was, but just like an ink house, it's a regular book, not meant to be colored, but people have been using it as a coloring book. And then this person, whoever she is, I cannot remember, bought these and said she was going to do the same thing. And she had colored some images in it. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. And so I finally broke down and bought them to do the same thing. Besides, it was awesome to have Shel Silverstein again. Look at the bear. The bear in there. Yeah. So, bought those. 
even though they're not technically coloring books okay then i bought this one this was kind of like a let's see what happens and buy it so it is moonlight fairy houses coloring book um i do love the cover because it's that like i don't know suede covery feel oh now i don't know if these are ai i don't know if they even say i don't know if these are ai pictures i don't know whatever so i thought it'd be interesting to see they are single-sided with black backing and some of them are really cute now what i did notice was that either somebody didn't do editing very well well somebody just didn't do editing very well because if you can see this right this is a black background. And I'm just gonna point, shouldn't the space between the tree leaves and stuff be black as well? And it's not. That tells me that, yeah, somebody didn't edit this well, or hopefully it's not stolen images. But, yeah. And it's on several of them. So I was like, mm, like this one. That should be black in between there. You know? And this should be black. Like, why is it not black? Because that's an editing issue. Because you can see right there. So, like this one. It's got the moon. So the whole thing is white. This should be black. So it is on a lot of these pages like that. So those should be black in between, but it's not. So I was not overly happy. And you can see some streaks. I don't know if you can see the streaks. Do you see the streaky marks in the black? So I was not overly happy, but it's not bad enough to send it back and deal with the hassle. And it was only maybe five or six dollars. So see there again. That should all be black. So, I'm hoping that it's, you know, just bad editing and not somebody stealing stuff. Okay, then I bought, this is all Pixie. <laughs> I wanted to buy this when she showed it. And then I was like, nah, I guess I'll wait. Because I wasn't really sure. Then I saw somebody else show it and I was like, okay, in the card it goes. Coloring with your octopus. So Pixie, if you get back to coloring and you want to do one, or if somebody has this and wants to do a buddy color, let me know. So it's cute. And I liked I like the long long of it. It's kind of something different, you know. Well, the concept is different anyway. And then just the fact that it's a different size. I like it. So, there's that one. And all of these were through Amazon. Okay. Fanciful Birds. I can't remember whose, whose channel I saw this on. Because I just watched it within the last, well, within the last two weeks. And I commented on their video. On her video. And I thought it was fun. It kind of reminded me of like, um, I love this page. So if anybody has this book and they want to buddy color these flamingos, let me know. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Entangled books. And then it also reminds me of like Millie Murata, but not so realistic. Because she does have more realistic stuff in this Entangled format. So I got that. I thought that was fun. Mm -hmm. Carla Magania came out with her new book, and you know I was going to get that. Aesthetica, Synthetica. And it's cute. If somebody has this and they want a buddy color, you can let me know. You can find me over on the IG. So fun. I like her pieces. Did you do? So, got that one. There's a couple more I want, but they're on, you know, they're not out yet. I also got the 50 prehistoric miniatures. Love dinosaurs. I love them. Triceratops. I love a triceratops. So cute. And um, 
that one I forget I don't know what his name is I forget but the one with the big head that goes around head button people in um Jurassic Park there's one in him I love him he's so fun he's like boom boom so that was too cute and look at that lovely triceratops it's so adorable they're so cute and that one she's pushing around her baby in an egg Gotta love a woolly mammoth because it's a freaking elephant with fur. <laughs> That's cute. And so, just very, very adorable. Adorable. And them cave bunnies are hilarious. So, had to get that one as soon as I saw that go up. Oh, adorable. Then, we got Peter Pan. And this is so freaking funny. So I saw this on somebody's video, ordered it, and I ordered it used. So it's one, one of those, like, it was cheap because it was used, like, off of, you know, when you go to A Books, but, like, from Amazon. I'm not a real big fan, a fan of Peter Pan. Um, I thought the movie was boring and all that kind of stuff. But this little book was so cute. So I ordered it. Like I said, it was on the cheap. And it's got this big old like poster thing back here. And it's so cute. It's just adorable. And it's funny because it's Fabiana, Fabiana Atanasio. And I'm not always a fan of her art. But I love this one. This is so cute. So I got this and it was like five bucks. Like a dollar something something. And then paid shipping. So really, really cheap. Then I got Matchstick Mouse. The springtime coloring book. Somebody showed this on her channel. And I immediately went to go order it. Because it was so cute. So cute. So cute. So if somebody has this one and they want to buddy color. JoJo's um, Morgan O'Brien scavenger hunt stuff. So I have three of these or four of these now. I can't remember. But that's why I got that one. Because it was so adorable. Okay. Whatever was in that one book is like making me sneak. Sneak. I my nose. All right. This isn't new, but I finally broke down and bought Dreamweaver because I was on the fence. You know how you're like, yes, no, yes, no. And I haven't really been coloring in my mythographics, even though I love them. And so I was like, meh, I don't know. So I kept watching flip throughs. And I was like, well, you know, I'll, find, I'll break down and get it and then see how much of it I actually like in person. Because sometimes you see it on a channel and you're like, meh. Or you see it and you're like, oh yeah. And then you get it and you're like, no. So once I got it, I was like, okay, yeah. I want to do this page. <laughs> this one is just cracking me up. I don't know why, but the fact that it is this bird in this like Elizabethan outfit kills me. Just so funny. So I got that. Then... Um, since we're on with the mythographic, I've got one more after this. So then I already, I might have showed this in a previous video. I don't know. So I got the mythographic cosmic spirit and I've already started working on one. It's supposed to be a buddy color. And so I started working on this one. I was hoping to have it, you know, done for Valentine's day, but I don't. And I was working with my chroma flows. Yep, that is pencil, not alcohol marker. Now that doesn't mean there won't be alcohol marker on here. It just means that what is on here is pencil. I love these chroma flows. Ooh, I love them, I love them, I love them. Yeah. Chroma flow, chroma flow, flow. Chroma flow, 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 flow. Chroma flow, chroma flow. So if somebody wants to do a buddy color in here. Now, a mythographic tends to take me a little longer, but you know. All right, then my last book. I really don't remember who showed this either, but it was the Vintage My Room book. And I looked and they didn't have it on Amazon. And then they had it on Amazon and I didn't want to pay the price for it on Amazon. Then, da, 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 da. then I saw it again on another video and I was like, it's too. So I went ahead and ordered it. Ha ha ha. And I started this one. Let's see, let me pull this out real quick. So, I, oops, excuse me for knocking you around. I started this one using my chroma flows. Using my chroma flows. Because unfortunately, it is double sided. So that means 
most of these will not be alcohol marker because the majority of these I like and would color. There are a couple that I probably would not color. Like, I don't think I would color this one because I just want let them color. I don't think I would color this one. I don't really like it. Which means that I could use alcohol markers on this page. But most of these, which is also why... Oh, my book is falling apart already. Um, most of these I like. Which is... Oh, I went ahead and got it. Because there's rare... I mean, there's rarely books that I see where I would color the majority of the book. See, like, I probably wouldn't color this one. But I would color this one which means I could use my markers. And this one, I would color. You know, I would color that one. And I'm usually not into wallpaper papers, but I would color this one. But I like this one better. So I would not mind sacrificing that. So it's like one of those, like, I don't mind. And then this one. Now, see, this looks like a double, well, it is because this piece goes over. But I would not color this as a double page spread. I would just color this one. And then I would use, if I wanted alcohol markers, I would use this because this is just a tree. So, and I would never color that, which means this could be alcohol markers. So this is a wallpaper page, but it's like so fun. This, that's just not what I'm going to waste my time coloring. So, like I said, now I would color this one. And... I would color, probably would color this one too. So, yeah. Alrighty then, let me put my little bookmark back in here before I lose my page. And I'm so mad my book is falling, falling apart. Oh, that pisses me off. Because this was not a cheap book. Okay, so there we go with all of that. So thanks for watching. And, you know, if you want to do any other body colors, you can just let me know. And I shall see you guys later. You guys be safe out there. And, you know, get yourself stocked up and all that goodness. Bye.